We are so pleased to have Septimus Barrick with us. His book is There Is Always Room for One More Blessing. He joins us here on Author's Corner, and it truly is a blessing for us on America Tonight and me, Kate Delaney. Septimus, thanks so much for hanging with us. Uh, Happy to be here, Kate. What led you to write this book? What made you decide, I'm going to put all of this in a book? Yes, uh, sometimes in in life, things happen through inspiration, right? I met this lady, and we struck up a friendship. And she was going through a little um, issue in her life, and I started by sending her a quotation every morning. I would wake up early in the mornings, just take about three minutes, think about something, write it down, then text it to her. And I continued doing that for a while, and eventually I had enough of them uh, accumulated, and she suggested that maybe we should put it in a book because she was so inspired by it. And here we are. Yeah, and you've always been attracted to quotes, haven't you, and made up your own? Yes, they're all mine in the book. They're all original quotations. I believe in them because if you can walk around with something in your head, that's like if you have music playing in the background in your in your head, you know, you're influenced by it. So you can decide what you want to program yourself with. And these words are so powerful. If you program yourself with them, you'll be okay, I think, throughout the day. And and thus the name of your book and, and why you say that there is always room for one more blessing. And that's the idea, correct? Correct. Correct. There's always room for that. You just have to make sure you know the place where you should make available that room because the blessings will always come. They do not come when they have nowhere to reside, you know, so you have to make a room for them and they'll show up. I like that. You, you They don't come if you don't make room for them. So tell us some of your, give us a couple of your quotes. Yes, one of them is, uh, it, struck, it struck me this morning that I should say this one. Wisdom is not acquired. Wisdom is unfolded. Because we are such perfect beings on the inside, you know? That's God inside of us, and God is perfect. So wisdom is where that space is in the innermost part of our being. So you cannot learn wisdom. You can unfold it because it's already there. You can learn knowledge, but wisdom is unfolded. Uh, Here's another one for you. Uh, A frown is a self-inflicted wound to the face. Uh, that's, That's kind of a... That's kind of uh, self-defeating, isn't it? Yeah. So you should always try to smile as much as possible. And then finally, God in his wisdom has sentenced us all to life, to live life. But some of us, through our actions, have chosen to live death. Oh, and what did you mean by that? Yes, this that is pretty profound, isn't it? Yeah. It's choices that we make in life, okay? We came to this life with life. Right? We have life. That's why we came that's why we came here. But when we get here, some of us decide we want to be self-destructive and so on. So instead of living life, we, we choose to live death because our actions are going to lead to Nothing really good. A lot of people are like that. They just self-destruct. Boy, so true. I like some of them that you have right in the beginning. Time does not run out on ideas, but time could run out before implementation. I think a lot of people suffer from that. That's right. And the reason why I have a book too is because I had an idea, right? And I didn't want time to run out on it. So here we go. We worked on it, and, and there is the book right there. That's the product of it. And yeah. my, my aim is to inspire millions of people because, really, we can have a better world, can't we? 
we can have a better world and what you put in is what you put out. And you say that, especially, you know, you hit, hit me with the frown quote. And I think that's so true. And it's, it's in your mind and it's your attitude and you spread that joy in other places. Tell the listeners a little bit about your life. Okay. So I was born and raised in St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the Caribbean. I migrated here to the United States in 1983 I found myself in the education profession, and I have been a teacher, professor. I have taught uh, teenagers who are juvenile delinquents. They have committed lots of various crimes, and um, a lot of people would want to, you know, throw them away, forget about them, because they don't have anything positive in their environment to look to. But I took up the challenge of being a teacher to them, And to me, a teacher is not just a teacher. A teacher is a life changer. You know, there's some teachers who can say something to a kid and mess the kid's kid's life up for good. Because if you say something negative to the person, the person believes it, he can act it out. But why not say something that would uplift him? I have also worked in a maximum security prison as a teacher. And that was really, really, really interesting to me to see how these guys, a lot of them were murderers. A lot of them were not coming out of there ever. And I was still able to inspire some of them to go and take their GED exam and pass it, even though they're never going to get out of prison. It was one way to engage their brains in a positive way. Do you feel like you've been blessed and that's why you want to inspire so many others? Absolutely. And my blessing is my consciousness. You know, this is what happens. When you start taking on a different consciousness, your action is going to be different. We could decide what happens to us based on the energy we put out into the world, right? And we put out energy based on what we have been taught. And if we learn how to connect ourselves with the spirit, the innermost part of our beings, we will be all right. All kinds of revelations will come to you. right? And I I do make music as well. I I play the guitar and I write inspirational songs. So after putting this one together, there is always room for one more blessing, Septimus Barrack, which you can get on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Do you think you'll do another one? I not just think, Kate, I'm going to do another one, right? Because the, the, the mission I believe I'm on that I didn't ask for, I think it was given to me to try to inspire people wherever I go, and I'm not going to stop doing that. And if the medium of publishing a book is one way to get the message out, I am definitely committed to doing that. Well, I think it's a perfect place to end this. And you are so inspirational. There are so many quotes. Leave us with another good one. Okay, so here is another one that has come up to my mind um, right now. I seem to be drawing a blank. This is not the right time to draw a blank. But um, (laughs) (laughs) but, but I have a a, a number of them. I wish I had a book right next to me. Um, I would say... Go out and buy the book, uh, listeners, and you will see. Okay, and you, you will see. Will yeah, there's inspired. there's hundreds of quotes in it. You know, you say, yes. um, I'll give you one that you say. Every yes. answer spawns new questions. That is true. Absolutely true. <laughs> because if we don't keep having questions, how are we going to pursue answers? You know what I mean? Uh, questions is what makes you look for answers. And when you find out those answers, that's not the end of it. You want to ask more questions because we keep growing. That's what that is. That's right. Curiosity, for sure. Uh, Well, what a great conversation. Septimus Barrick, there is always room for one more blessing. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. I think Septimus is right. There really is always room for one more blessing. And... In his book, it is definitely inspirational. It's one of those books that you can pick up at any point and just grab that line that kind of sets the the tone for the day or for the moment. If you're feeling a little bit blue, 
and and just put you in a different I think it puts you in a different state. There is something about quotes and he it forces you to be introspective and he's definitely an introspective person. That's how he comes up with what he comes up with. So certainly creating, you know, his own original and inspirational quotes that is kind of a uh, I think it's like a gift when you can, can when they can roll off the tongue and they are easily explained or they make you go, hmm, you know, they, that made me think about that one, definitely. And I share that love of quotes just like he does. Mine is dream big and then multiply it. So go out and do that, folks. Thanks to Septimus and all of you for listening to this interview and this show. Visit www.greatwritersmedia.com. Email us at info at greatwritersmedia.com. Call us at 877-600-5469. Subscribe now.